I'm going to be talking about our paper, The Dynamics of Not Unfollowing Misinformation Spreaders. Many studies explore how people come into misinformation exposure, but much less is known about how people come out of misinformation exposure. We track the frequency and predictors of unfollowing misinformation spreaders. Understanding these things is important. If unfollowing is rare, then it's important to stop connections from forming in the first place. Regarding predictors, understanding the predictors of unfollowing can inform interventions to further increase unfollowing. Many studies explore how misinformation exposure arises, and there's no uniform pathway, but broadly, we can think about factors at an individual or environmental level. Regarding the predictors of misinformation unfollowing, we highlight hypotheses around two variables. The first is initial exposure. This is how many misinformation spreaders a person follows at the start of the study. And the second is the ideology of the follower. I quickly describe the hypotheses around initial exposure. Essentially, it's not obvious from the literature if we should expect high T1 exposure to be associated with higher or lower unfollowing at T2. We call these hypotheses the reversion and inertia hypothesis, respectively. So here's what we did. We collected health misinformation URLs and tweets flagged by PolitiFact. Then we found users who shared this content on Twitter. We denoted these users misinformation spreaders. We also pulled the followers of spreaders. We answered three questions across two studies. First, what is the frequency of unfollowing misinformation spreaders? Second, are misinformation spreaders unfollowed at a different rate than non-misinformation spreaders? And third, what are the predictors of unfollowing a misinformation spreader? So here's what we found. Misinformation spreaders were unfollowed relatively infrequently, and misinformation spreaders were unfollowed less than non-misinformation spreaders. Now we turn to predictors of unfollowing misinformation spreaders. We found that reciprocal misinformation ties are rarely severed, liberals are more likely to unfollow, and there is more support for the reversion hypothesis than for the inertia hypothesis. So here are some takeaways. Misinformation ties are highly persistent, and there are ideological differences in unfollowing. Overall, because misinformation unfollowing is rare, it is important to stop ties and exposure in the first place.